hello guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's tutorial i am going to be showing you how to uninstall pycharm and all of its repositories and files from kali linux if you can remember in the previous video i made i made a video on how to install pycharm on android using kali linux and i've made a video on how to install pycharm on kali linux so let us assume that um, maybe you run out of space and you want to you know uninstall the application and you want to delete the application and you're looking for a way to go through about this this video is for you so to uninstall pycharm what you're going to do is you're going to launch your terminal all right so let me just open up my terminal okay after your terminal has been launched successfully you want to go to the directory where your pycharm is installed and of course it is the downloads directory so you type the command cd downloads and if i type ls now as you can see we have the extracted pycharm file and we have the pycharm file itself so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to be deleting the extracted pycharm file to delete it you're going to type the command rm rf and the name of the file okay so i'm just going to paste the name of the file here right now and i'm going to click on enter so this should take about a few seconds to delete okay let's just wait a little bit all right and yeah if i type ls again uh there will be just one file there which is the main tab file if you want to delete the uh the compressed file which is the tab.gz file you can just use the command rm then the name of followed by the name of the file okay as for this video that is not my main aim my aim is to show you how to uninstall pycharm and all of its repositories so now you want to go back to your home directory by typing the cd command just type the command cd it should take you back to your home directory and in your home directory you want to type the command ls a this is going to show all folders including hidden folders so now the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to change our directory to the config directory all right so because inside the config directory some pycharm folders are actually stored there so you're going to type the command cd then dot config and as you can see right here we have uh, the jetbrain file right here JetBrains. so let me actually navigate in, into the folder and show you that it is a pycharm folder all right or it is a pycharm directory so all right so cd jetbrains cd jetbrains and click on enter and as you can see after typing the ls command there is a pycharm directory inside there so i'm just going to quickly navigate into the directory and show you what the config files look like so copy the name and cd pycharm 22.1 okay cd paste and click on enter all right so if i type the ls command as you can see we have the build.txt options potluck pycharm all of that bullshit okay so let me just go back let me go back to the main pycharm page and now uh, okay so let me clear the screen and type ls so we are now back to our config page to delete this you're just going to type the command rm i find rf then jetbrains of course so after typing this command you hit the enter button and um, that should definitely delete the jetbrains directory okay so if i type ls now you're going to notice that the jetbrains directory has been deleted okay as you can see the jetbrains directory is no longer there so uh we're going to just delete one more folder okay so um i'm going to go back home type the cd dot dot command that i'm i'm home now so if i type the command ls i find a again as you can see there's another file right here which is named pycharm projects now this is the last file we want to delete it is the file where all projects you're working on is being saved in on pycharm okay so this is the file that contains all pycharm projects you've been working on so to delete it you're going to type the command rm i find rf then the name of the file and that is it as you can see that is it you've successfully installed uninstalled pycharm and uh, 
all of its repositories so if this video actually helped you make sure you click on the subscribe button and turn on bell notifications ah goodbye and see you in the next video thanks for watching